Hey, and welcome. Today's talking topic is the next chapter. I'm author and speaker Toria Lee, and you are watching Tori Talk Tuesday. So if you guys saw my post from last week, I have a very exciting announcement uh, this week that actually has to go with the next chapter of my life that I'm starting. So it's no secret as an author that I love reading, I love writing, I love all things books. And so I've always loved the analogy when you're starting something new that you're starting, you know, everyone will say you're going into the next chapter, right? like a book, you're going to the next chapter. But I've never thought it was a completely 100% accurate to say your life is just one book. I think it's much more accurate to say your life is a series, it's like a book series. When you have a book series, generally all of them focus around the same main character for the most part, there's exceptions, but they usually focus on the same main character. Um, for this book series, it would be your life, it would be you, focuses on you, but each book is a different season of your life, right? Each each book in a series, the main character faces different obstacles. There's giant changes, giant shifts in the storyline, things like that. I think saying you're going to next chapter is accurate for small changes in your life, but for the really big monumental things, the leap of faith, the stepping out, um, I think that's more like saying you're going to the next book in a series. So I, I think that's actually more accurate for what I'm about to share with you guys is I'm about to step into the next book in the series of Tori, Tori Lee's life. Um, and I'm so excited for this next season. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this announcement? This is crazy and it's crazy how I got to this decision. I am going back to school. And you may say, okay, that's not really that exciting. Well, many of you know, I currently am in Southern California and I decided to go to school at Bob Jones University in Greenville, South Carolina. So this is the first time I will ever live away from my parents. This is the first time I will live on campus. I am going across the United States. I of course could not pick close school, right? Tor I had to do something crazy. Um, this wasn't really the plan. This was not my plan to go back to school and definitely not to go back um, this far away from family. Uh, or to go to Bob Jones, but it's where the Lord led me. And he made it very clear, um, just thing after thing after thing after marker, there was confirmation after confirmation that this was the way I was supposed to go. And so I'm stepping out obediently. It's very scary. I'm going to a new place. Um, I, I'm being away from family, which to some people is like, they want to get away from family. That's not me. I love my family. I love being around them. Uh, but I'm stepping out and I'm, and it's the unknown is scary and what I have no idea what's going to happen in this next book of my life but I know God's going to do some great things and that's the thing I may not know what the story is going to hold but I know who the author is so I can trust what's going to play out because I know the author has my best interest at heart and I know he's only going to lead me into things that glorify him and are good for my life and so I'm very excited about what this next season is going to hold I'm nervous but I'm not scared because I trust the Lord. I'm walking obediently and I'm saying, I'm gonna trust you. You've already walked me through so much. You're gonna be with me in all this change and the newness. So that is the exciting new announcement. And my encouragement for you guys is whatever he's calling, to, calling you to or whatever change is happening in your life, you can have peace because you can trust who the author is of your story. You don't have to worry. Now, some of you may be saying, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. I thought you were working on the second Modern Masquerade. And I am. I still am. I'm still gonna be working on it while I'm at college. It does probably mean it's gonna take a little bit longer to get that book done, just because I will be balancing school and writing a book at the same time and a job. And so, craziness, right? But I am still writing it. There will be a modern masquerade too, unless God changes those plans too, but I don't foresee it. I'm still working on it, still hoping for a modern masquerade too, and then even a third one probably. So still working on that, gonna pursue, press on with that, write it even while I'm at school. And you guys are gonna, I'm still showing up for Tory Talk Tuesdays. It's still gonna happen even when I'm in Greenville. So you're still gonna get a video on Tuesdays and you're gonna get to follow me along on this crazy journey that God is leading me on and we're gonna see what happens. So it's a mystery to me, it's a mystery to you and we're kinda in this thing together, right? So you guys get to follow uh, the insanity that is becoming my life as I move across the country and decide to uh, go back to school 
and I'm going for a communications major and a creative writing minor. Uh, a lot of this has to do with my writing and my speaking because I know God has given me this naturally gifted talent, but I also know that diligence and studying and practice will beat out natural gifting every time. And we are called to steward the gifts God gives us. And so this is me doing that. I decided that going back to school would be beneficial for my reading, for my writing and for my speaking. So. That's part of why I went. If you guys have more questions about why I'm going back to school, feel free to message me or uh, ask questions in the comments. I'd love to answer your questions, but that's all the time I got for right now. So yeah, that's the giant, the big exciting announcement is I am moving across country and going to school in Greenville, South Carolina. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys this week and I'll catch you next week. Thank you for watching.